Today, we dive into the world of acting as we reveal the 25 greatest one-hit wonders in the industry. Just like in music, there are those actors who found tremendous success with only one role. And no, we're not talking about critical acclaim, but rather commercial triumph. Even roles spanning over multiple films are considered, as long as they remained in the spotlight for just one character. So let's get started on our countdown of the biggest acting one-hit wonders out there. Paul Hogan, known for his role as Crocodile Dundee, became a famous Australian actor in American movies. While Australians now often hide their accents in films, Hogan was known for representing the archetypal Australian bloke. Although the first, Crocodile Dundee, was a huge success, its two sequels, especially the delayed third movie, couldn't match its triumph. Hogan will always be remembered as Mick Dundee. Rachel Lee Cook, known for her role in She's All That, faced a setback after the flop of Josie and the Pussycats. However, she has found success in Hallmark and Netflix romantic comedies. Stay tuned to MSN for more exciting entertainment news. Keanu Reeves is famous for his roles in iconic movies like The Matrix and John Wick, but let's not forget about his co-star Alex Winter, who played Ted Logan in the Bill and Ted films. While Reeves continued to soar in Hollywood, Winter didn't quite branch out as much. However, good news for fans as Winter and Reeves will be reuniting for a third movie in the series. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting reunion. In a showbiz update, Rupert Grint, known for his role as Ron Weasley in the Harry Potter series, seems to be struggling to break free from his iconic character. While his co-stars Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson have managed to move on, Grint continues to be associated with his famous wizard role. Stay tuned on MSN for more exciting entertainment news. Mark Hamill, known for voicing the Joker in animated films, has captured hearts with his portrayal of Luke Skywalker in iconic cinema. Despite his smaller voice acting role, Hamill will always be recognized as the legendary Jedi. Check out this article for more on his noteworthy career. Susan Sarandon fans might also enjoy exploring her unforgettable roles. Ralph Macchio, known for his iconic role as the Karate Kid, has a small but significant part in the film My Cousin Vinny. However, it is not considered a main role since he is not Joe Pesci, Marissa Tomei, or even Fred Gwynn. Currently reprising his character as Daniel LaRussa in Cobra Kai on YouTube, Macchio's popularity remains strong. Stay connected with us on MSN for more exclusive entertainment news. Edward Furlong, known for his role in Terminator 2, Judgment Day, struggled to find success after his breakthrough. Despite a promising start, his movie career faded, and he never achieved the same level of fame as an adult. Robert Patrick, known for his role in Terminator 2, had a significant role as the menacing T-1000. He terrorizes John and Sarah Connor, but is eventually taken down by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Stay tuned to MSN for more exclusive entertainment news. Linda Blair, known for her famous role in The Exorcist, is still etched in our memories. While she pursued acting in lesser-known films like Hell Knight and Chained Heat, her iconic portrayal of a possessed girl remains unforgettable. Explore more mind-bending movies on our list of the top 25 trippiest films ever made. Piper Parabo, known for her breakout role in Coyote Ugly, struggled to find leading movie roles after that. However, she did star in the TV series Covert Affairs for 75 episodes. Check out our exclusive entertainment content on MSN. Actor Patrick Fugit, known for his role in Almost Famous, didn't achieve the same level of success as his co-star Kate Hudson. While he had a few notable roles, he remained a working actor without a second big hit. Jennifer Grey, known for her roles in Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Dirty Dancing, has had a successful career. She even won a season of Dancing with the Stars. Stay tuned to MSN for more exclusive entertainment news. Marley Matlin, known for her groundbreaking role in Children of a Lesser God, made history as the youngest ever winner of the Best Actress Oscar and the first deaf actor in a leading role since the silent era. 
Despite her career slowdown, the recent success of Coda might change that. Stay tuned for more updates. Jim Barney, best known as Ernest P. Worrell, has become an iconic figure. Aside from his popular role, Barney also lent his voice to Slinky Dog in the Toy Story movies. Although not a main character, these films were a hit. Stay tuned on MSN for more exclusive entertainment updates. Peter Ostrom, known for his role as Charlie Bucket in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, didn't pursue acting after the film. Instead, he became a veterinarian. Despite being overshadowed by Gene Wilder, Ostrom was the film's protagonist. This is a common trend with child actors. Dennis Christopher, the main actor in Breaking Away, received recognition but struggled to fulfill his potential. Despite appearing in Django Unchained, he didn't experience the same career revival as his co-stars. Stay tuned to MSN for more exclusive entertainment updates. Alicia Silverstone, known for her iconic role in Clueless, has had a limited career success. Despite her fame as Cher Horowitz, her Batgirl role in Batman and Robin was heavily criticized. Since then, Silverstone has struggled to regain stardom. Explore this article for more on Johnny Depp's remarkable performances. Shannon Elizabeth, known for her role as Nadia in American Pie, is recognized for her contribution to the hit comedy. Though her career didn't reach great heights, she made appearances on That 70s Show and Dancing with the Stars. American Pie remains the highlight of Elizabeth's acting journey. Explore more exclusive entertainment content by following us on MSN. Anthony Perkins, known for his iconic role as Norman Bates in Psycho, was once nominated for an Oscar for his performance in Friendly Persuasion. However, his association with Bates has overshadowed his other work. Perkins played Bates in three Psycho sequels and even directed the third installment. Learn more interesting facts about the movie Jaws. Hayden Christensen, known for his role as Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars prequels, gained fame despite the critical failures of the films. Although many disliked his performances, the movies were still commercially successful. Since his last appearance as Darth Vader, Christensen hasn't had any notable successes. Stay tuned on MSN for more exclusive entertainment updates. Jerry Seinfeld, famous for his role in the hit sitcom, Seinfeld, remains a one-hit wonder in the entertainment industry. Despite not doing much beyond the iconic show, Seinfeld doesn't need to since it made him incredibly wealthy. He now spends his time casually meeting up with fellow comedians for a cup of coffee. David Schwimmer, known for his role as Ross in Friends, hasn't achieved the same level of success as his co-stars. However, thanks to the popularity of the show on Netflix, he remains a recognizable name. Despite any hatred towards his character, Ross, Schwimmer is still enjoying wealth and fame. Stay connected with us on MSN for more exclusive entertainment news. Rain Wilson's film, The Rocker, failed, possibly because audiences can only see him as Dwight Schrute from The Office. He played an unforgettable TV character and even had a spin-off attempt. His small parts in movies like The Meg are not a bad outcome, considering the continued popularity of The Office. Josh Holloway, known for his role as Sawyer in Lost, had a significant impact on the popular show. However, he has been largely absent from our screens since then, except for his appearance in Colony. Stay tuned on MSN for more exclusive entertainment content. Adam West, known for playing Batman, should have had more success, but his sitcom pilot, Look Well, didn't take off. Despite this, he became a legend with his campy portrayal of the caped crusader. Being a one-hit wonder isn't bad, as he still achieved greatness. Follow us on MSN for more exclusive entertainment content.